I keep hearing, the bubble's going to burst, everything's going to explode. Back in episode 94, not long ago, I talked about this. I talked about don't sell your home and the reasons why you shouldn't sell your home and really the three to four reasons or scenarios where it's okay to sell your home right now. And that's my opinion as a broker, but I got a lot of trash talk on that one. I got people saying, you know, you're, what are you doing? You're keeping uh, people from selling their properties. You're advising them incorrectly, et cetera. Nah, those are just the loud mouths that are just out there kind of screaming and yelling and bitching and moaning and complaining about things. There is no bubble burst coming in my opinion. I think that's not yet. Um, will there be one in the future? Nobody knows. And anybody that's telling you what's going to happen is off their rocker right now because there's nothing is making sense anymore. Okay. So in normal, right, supply and demand, if you have a ton of sandwiches in your shop and you only have 10 people to buy them, obviously you're going to have a lot of sandwiches left over in your shop, right? So you're going to reduce the cost of the sandwiches. So maybe those 10 people will buy two or three so you can get rid of the inventory, right? Right now we have the opposite. Right now we have a bunch of people looking to buy something and we only have 10 sandwiches, okay? And we, would, we have a ton of people to buy. So it's the opposite. So you'd think prices of those 10 sandwiches, they can ask whatever they want. That's what's been going on in the market, right? For the last couple of years, 10%, 20, 30, 50% increases all around the country. It's pretty amazing to watch because people panic sell in that regard. Like they sell panic, their expectations are hugely high without understanding just really just the basic economic function of supply and demand. But in this market, you have things working against that supply and demand though. There's insertions of governments that are coming into it like interest rates. So I did an episode a couple, two, three weeks ago or so, uh, wrote on what this means when they increase interest rates. You heard that the government last month went up a quarter point, this month they went up a half a point, they're gonna go up another, which is huge rate increases by the way. That's pretty much panic increasing. Um, and you can read, a lot of people agree with that opinion. Uh, but it, how it affects the mortgage market is a little different. Interest rates follow along with that. So we're at about five, five and a half percent. Now we're going to go to six. We're going to go to six and a quarter. And you would think that's going to slow down the housing market, right? It's going to take all the buyers out of the pool. The houses are going to have to come down in price now because there's a lot less people now that are going to match the amount of sandwiches I have in my shop. And we're going to have this kind of really just stable market where it's fair pricing and not thousands offer uh, offers with a hundred percent over asking. Um, but that's not happening either. And I don't suspect it's going to happen because we still have buyers that are paying all cash for this stuff. We still have a huge amount of buyers that pent up and we have such low supply still that these regular effects of increased interest rates and stuff you'd think would normally slow a market down are not yet because we don't have enough supply to slow down. So it's this weird time in the economy right now where there's all these weird forces working at different times that we've never really seen before. Um, and you got inflation, you got threats of recession, you got international wars, and you got all kinds of things going on. Um, policies that are so different, a country divided, that it's really hard to judge. So my advice, okay, instead of getting into the whole, it's going to burst, panic sell my house, move to the middle of a mountain somewhere because you took all your cash and ran. That's cool if you want to do that. But I'm saying just relax, calm it down, listen to your agent because this is what they do for a living. They look at, we look at these numbers all the time. If they're not looking at these numbers all the time, change agents, okay? Go to someone else that does. It's really important that your agent right now understands the economy, the facts and numbers and data behind all this stuff on a large scale. It's incredibly important. Your agent today cannot just stick a sign in the lawn, market it well, and hope it goes. And it will go because that's the market we're in. You put someone in the market, it's gone in a day or two. You want someone really to advise you because you might be leaving some extra money on the table. You might be um, uh, moving to a location that you don't want to move to. So make sure that you do that, but just calm down. There's no explosion. There's no huge balloon popping yet. It's a very different market that we have. All right, I want to pop on and talk to you about that. Have a good week and we'll see you next week on the show.